everyone and welcome to my channel once again peace be upon you all in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh, martini, martini coat or cardigan or whatever you want to call it and uh, it's very easy and simple to make um you if you know only the basics of the crochet you can easily make that and um, this this is a uh, suitable or this will fit the baby from six months to uh, 12 months old baby the length and the width of this uh, is the length is uh, sorry the width is approximately 10 inches <clears throat> and the length is approximately Eleven and a half inches, or uh, approximately, uh, approximately between eleven to twelve inches long. The length of the sleeves, uh, after the what you call it, from this uh, armhole to this cuff is approximately six point five inches and uh, this is very easy simple and easy to make the yarns i used in i made two one is right there uh, the yarn i used in this one is this one i used this uh, danish yarn and uh, it's acrylic yarn and into this 50 gram of the yarn there is 133 meters of the yarn into 50 gram of the yarn there, are you, uh, there is 133 meters of the yarn and I use approximately this these are the 50 grams of the ball so I used approximately two of these and um, little bit more and plus this gray yarn maybe I think uh, maybe I use 20 gram of these gray yarn and plus you will need at least 100 220 grams of these this yarn as well and the contrasting yarn I don't know how much I used and uh, into the other one into the into this one I used this yarn it's a Turkish uh, brand I don't know much about it uh, the both are um, a second if I can yes and uh, into the 100 gram of the yarn there is 300 meters of yarn into this or 328 yards of the yarn and they both are acrylic yarns and um, this one is a little bit uh, longer then this one maybe one inch difference or maybe half an inch of difference i don't know exactly see there is a little bit difference here because when i was making i did not realize that it was becoming a little bit too uh, it was becoming longer than this one but this is how it is mm. You are gonna need some buttons and I made this code and attached here so it's easy to close it and um, what you call it lesson learned that maybe in future I'm not going to use white color in my videos I can use it off camera when I'm going to make something but when I'm going to show you guys when I'm going to make something for the sake of video for video purpose i'm not going to use white yarn because it's it's a struggle to adjust the light and all that but this is how they look and um, i will try my level best uh, level best once again to explain each and everything with details but still if there is anything that is confusing you guys are more than welcome to uh, ask me questions and i will i will try my level best to help you guys and uh, so i'm pretty excited this is going to be my first uh, project uh, for the video of course i have made uh, 
cardigans etc but i'm going to make it first time for the video so i am pretty excited so let's get started oh and i used <laughs> i almost forgot i used four millimeter crochet hook and uh, this is my far most uh, favorite crochet hook i have broken some of some of them are snapped but still I have so many of steel or aluminum etc crochet hooks but I use this one because I'm just used to it. I can't use any other crochet hook if it's 4 millimeter. I just prefer this one. So I, so I used 4 millimeter crochet hooks and I have already told about the yarns and the size and all that. So let's get started. The starting point of this uh, cardigan is going to be here on the neckline for that what we are going to do is of course first of all we are going to make a slip knot like that And then I will make chain 55. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I will make rest of the chains off camera so that I can save some time. In total you are going to need uh, 55 chains. I will make rest of the chains off camera and then I will resume the video again. After chaining 55 what we are going to do is that we are going to skip 1, 2, 3 chains and into the fourth one we are going to make a double crochet. Double crochet into the fourth chain. We are going to skip 1, 2, 3 and one double crochet into the next and one double crochet into each and every chain like that we are going to make one double crochet into each and every chain all the way to the end after making one double crochet into each and every chain you should end up with 52 double crochets plus our this starting chain 3 which also counts as our uh, first double crochet so you should end up with 40 uh, 53 double crochets because this chain 3 is also counted as our first double crochet what we are going to do now is that in next round we are going to chain 3 one two three and then we will turn around and we will make one double crochet because this starting chain three counts as our first double crochet so we are not going to make any double any stitches into that we will skip this one and we will make one double crochet into next three stitches one two three so make one double crochet into the next one double crochet into the second one and one double crochet into the third one into the next uh, double crochet this one we are going to make an increase by making two double crochets into same double crochet chain 3 then we made one double crochet into three double crochets and then two double crochets into the next what we are going to do next is we are going to make one double crochet into next one two three four double crochets one two three and four 
वन टू थ्री फोर डबल क्रोशेज इंटू नेक्स्ट फोर वन डबल क्रोशे इंटू नेक्स्ट फोर डबल क्रोशेज एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू मेक एन इंक्रीज बाय मेकिंग टू डबल क्रोशेज इंटू द नेक्स्ट वन एंड टू वी आर गोइंग टू रिपीट फ्रॉम हेयर to here all the way to the end we will make one double crochet into next four double crochets one two three four and then two double crochets into the next <coughs> i will show you guys once more and then i will make rest of the round off camera one two three and four after our increase which is this one we are going to make one double crochet into next four stitches and then an increase which is that we are going to make two double crochets into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end make an increase in every fifth stitch one two three four one double crochet and then into the fifth one make two double crochets all the way to the end after repeating the uh, repeating the pattern by making one double crochet in four and then two double crochet into the next one at the end you should have two double crochet and one chain three left what we are going to do is we are going to make one double crochet into next two double crochets and then one double crochet on the top of our chain three one and then one double crochet on the top of our starting chain 3 from the last round at the end of this round you should end up with 62 double crochets plus chain 3 which also counts as our uh, double crochet so in total if you count cha starting chain 3 as well you should end up with 63 double crochets next round is very easy make chain 3 1 2 3 turn around and then make one double crochet into each and every double crochet we are not going to make any increasing in this round just simple one double crochet in each and every round and at the end of this round as well you are going to end up with 62 double crochets plus starting chain 3 so 63 double crochets in total if we count chain 3 as well so make simply one double crochet in each and every double crochet all the way to the end make chain 3 1 2 3 turn your work around and then make one double crochet into next two stitches 1 and remember the chain 3 throughout the all of the rounds uh, starting chain 3 counts as our first double crochet so we are going to make one double crochet into next two stitches so in total we have three and then we will make two double crochets into the next one and two one double crochet into next three stitches uh, into next three double crochets and then two double crochets into the next one two <coughs> 3 and then two double crochets into the next one and two again one double crochet into next three stitches one two and three and then two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end from here to here we will make one double crochet into next one two three double crochets and then 
two double crochets into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end after completing our uh, pattern for the last time we should end up with uh, two double crochets and one chain three we will make one double crochet on the top of both double crochets first one and the second one and also on the top of our starting chain three at the end of this round you should end up with 77 double crochets plus uh, uh, starting chain three uh, if you count starting chain three as well you should end up with 78 double crochets next round is very simple we will repeat uh, the third round this one which is that we will make one two three double uh, three chains and then we will simply make one double crochet into each and every double crochet we are not going to make any increasing in this round so at the end of this round as well you should end up with 77 double crochet plus our starting chain three so make one double crochet into each and every double crochet all the way to the end make chain three one two three three and turn around make one double crochet into next double crochet two double crochets into the next one and two one double crochet into next two double crochets one and two and then two double crochets into the next in this round we are going to make an increase in every third stitch again one double crochet into next two stitches one and two and then two double crochets into the next one and two repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one double crochet into next two stitches and then two double crochets into the next all the way to the end one double crochet uh, after completing our pattern we should have three uh, stitches left two double crochets and one chain three we are going to make one double crochet into both double crochets and also on the top of starting chain three from the last round at the end of this round you should end up 102 double crochets plus chain three 103 double crochets if you count chain 3 as well chain 3 turn your work around and then repeat the third round this one which was that we made one double <coughs> one double crochet into each and every double crochet to the end at the end of this round as well you should end up with 102 double crochets plus are starting chain three so 103 double crochets in all when you reach at the end of this round remember to make one double crochet on the top of starting chain three from the last round chain three one two three turn your work around and then make one double crochet into next two stitches into this one and into this one one double crochet into the next and one double crochet into the next and then make two double crochets into the next one and two and then what we are going to do the pattern we are going to repeat is that we will make one double crochet into next two double crochets one 
and two and then two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern this small section we are going to repeat by making one double crochet into the next and one into the next and then increase into the next by making two double crochets into that repeat this pattern all the way to the end we are going to make increasing increasing every third stitch repeat this pattern all the way to the end after repeating the pattern last time you should end up with two double crochets and one starting chain three make one double crochet into last two double crochets one and two and one double crochet on the top of our starting chain three at the end of this round you should end up with 135 double crochets and one starting chain three if you count starting chain three as well you should end up with 136 double crochets now make chain three one two three and repeat round number three this one which is that you are going to make one double crochet into each and every double crochet we are not going to make any increasings in this round so at the at the end of this round as well you should end up with 135 double crochets plus starting chain 3 136 double crochets in total and um, don't forget to make one double crochet on the top of our starting chain 3 from the last round make one double crochet in each and every double crochet all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again i am at the end of this round and uh, the next round is going to be our last increasing round for that what i am going to do is that i am going to make one two three chains turn around and then i will make one double crochet into next three stitches three double crochets one two three and then two double crochets into the next one and two and then what we are going to do is that we will make one double crochet into next seven stitches one two three four five six and seven one two three four five six seven and two double crochets into the next one and two again we will make one double crochet into next seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven one two three four five six seven and then two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make one double crochet into next seven double crochets and then we will do an increase by making two double crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end after repeating my pattern last time we should end up with two double crochets and uh, uh, chain three from uh, starting chain three from the last round left we will make one double crochet into both double crochets one and two and then one double crochet on the top of starting chain three 
at the end of this round you should end up with 152 double crochets plus our starting chain 3 if you count this starting chain 3 you should end up with 153 double crochets in next round we are going to do some uh, separations we are going to make uh, the armhole separate and then the rest of the coat or cardigan separate for that we are going to do sub I, I will do sub uh, some uh, stitch marking and uh, uh, for video sake so that I don't have to count again and again to do the markings what we are going to do is that we will count uh including these um, we are going to count 20 uh, four double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve this is the 24th double crochet i am going to place a stitch marker into that and then what we are going to do is that we are going to count 29 double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 28 and then 29 and into the 30th double crochet I am going to place a stitch marker this is going to be our armhole and this is going to be our uh, right or left uh, front side and then what I am going to do is that I am going to uh, count 47 double crochets including this double crochet where we have placed our stitch marker so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and so this will be 23 divided by 2 is 46 plus this one is 47th and into the 48th uh, double crochet I am going to place a stitch marker like that from this stitch marker to this stitch marker these 47 double crochets will be counted as uh, will be our uh, back side of the cardigan and then we will again skip 29 double crochets including this um, this will be counted as our first double crochet which we are going to skip so one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 plus this one 14 divided by 2 is 28 so this one is our 28, 29th double crochet so into the th uh, 30th double crochet we are going to place a stitch marker We should end up if we include this double cro crochet where we have placed our stitch marker we should end up with 24 double crochets so let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 12 divided by 2 is 24 so let's start working on our next round for that what we will do is that we will make chain three one two three turn our work around and make one double crochet until we reach our first uh, what you call it um, stitch marker we should have 
24 stitches 24 double crochets if we include this starting chain 3 as well so we, it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 <clears throat> 20, 21, 22, 23 and into the where into the stitch where we have placed our stitch marker should be our 24th stitch. So from here to here we should end up with 24 double crochets including this starting chain 3 and then we will skip these 29 double crochets. Fold it, fold it like that so it's easy to work and then from this uh, 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 stitch marker we will make one double crochet into the stitch where we have already where we have placed our stitch marker so including this double crochet we should end up with 20 uh, sorry 47 double crochets one two three four five six seven i will make rest of the stitches off camera so i have made one double crochet in uh, between uh, this uh, this is where i placed our first my first double crochet and this is my 47th double crochet i am going to remove uh, the last stitch would be before our um, uh, this the stitch where we placed our stitch marker this was a mistake I, I should have placed this stitch marker here but last stitch should be one stitch before our stitch marker and then what we are going to do is that we are going to skip 29 double crochets or all the double cro double crochets between these uh, between this and our next stitch marker so what we are going to do is <coughs> we are going to make one double crochet our first double crochet now should be into this stitch where we have already placed a stitch marker so one double crochet into that and then one double crochet into each and every stitch you should end up with 24 double crochets one two three four five six I will make rest of the stitches off camera you should end up with 27 double crochets uh, sorry 24 uh, double crochets here so I just wanted to zoom out and show you guys a little bit that what we did this is where we started this round so if we include this starting chain 3 until here until our armhole starts we should end up with 20 uh, 24 double crochets and then into this armhole from this double crochet to this double crochet all the double crochets in our armhole there should be 29 double crochets and then on the back side from this first double crochet we made on the back side to the last there should be 47 double crochets and then again here in the armhole there should be 29 double crochets and then here on the other uh, right front side this is left front side this is right front side there should be from here to here there should be 24 double crochets and in total at the end of this round you should end up with 94 double crochets plus our starting chain 3 if you count our starting chain 3 you should end up with 95 double crochets so let's work on the rest of the on the uh, skirt part of or the hair from 
now we uh, are going we were working on our yoke uh, so our yoke is almost ready now we are going to work on these uh, rounds on this skirt part of this coat for that for that what we are going to do is that we will <clears throat> make chain one and this uh, chain one this start and turn around this starting chain one does not count as our first double crochet so make one double crochet into the base of same stitch like that then chain two one and two skip next double crochet and make one single crochet into the next double crochet chain three one two three skip next two double crochet and one single crochet into the next this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make one two three chains skip next two double crochet and one single crochet into the next again one two three skip next two double crochet and one single crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making chain three and skipping two double crochets and one single crochet into the third double crochet all the way to the end after repeating my pattern for the last time now i have two uh, one double crochet and one chain three left what i will do is i will make one and two chains skip this double crochet and slip stitch on the top of starting chain three from the last round at the end of this round you should end up with 32 chain uh, spaces these gaps one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. If you are missing any, uh, if you have... Um, more uh, chain spaces or less chain spaces than these uh, these uh, 32 then maybe you skipped a uh, stitch or maybe you made an extra uh, what you call it uh, chain in next round what we are going to do is we will make one two three chains and turn our work around and then make two double crochets into these chain two space into this chain two space one and then two and then we will make a front post double crochet around this single crochet wrap the yarn around your crochet hook insert the hook from behind grab the yarn and pull through first two loops and then second two loops into next chain three space we are going to make three double crochets one two and three one front post double crochet around the post of this single crochet like that this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make three double crochets three uh, double crochets into chain three space into all of these chain three spaces one two and three and then one front post uh, double crochet around the post of our single crochet like that I will uh, repeat once more and then I will do rest of the round off camera. I will make one uh, three double crochets into this chain three space one, two and three 
and then front post double crochet around the post of single crochet like that repeat this pattern all the way to the end make three double crochets into chain three space front post double crochet around the single uh, crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end until we reach here and then uh, we will make uh, instead of three we are going to make two double crochets into that and then we are going to make one double crochet into this starting single crochet i will resume my video when i reach here i am at the end of this round and this is the chain two space instead of chain three from the last round what we are going to do we will make two double crochets instead of three into that one and two and then one double crochet on the top of our first double crochet like that we should end up with 32 sets of these two uh, these uh, three double crochets uh, we are not counting these uh, front post double crochets we are just talking about these sets of these three double crochets you should end up with 32 sets of these double crochets plus these uh, front post double crochets in between in next round we will make chain one turn around and then make one single crochet starting ch a chain uh, one does not count the, a single crochet throughout the video so make one single crochet into the base of this sing, uh, double crochet the last double crochet from the last round and then make chain two one and two and then skip these two double crochets and this is the front post double crochet from the last round on the top of that we will make one single crochet always remember that when you are working on the round of single crochet and chains that would be counted as a wrong side of the cardigan when you are working on this round into these double crochet rounds this is considered as uh, right side of the cardigan so right now the wrong side of the work should be facing you now chain three one two three skip next three double crochets all the double crochets we made into the chain space one two three we are going to skip that and this is our front post double crochet from the last round we will make a single crochet on the top of that like that repeat this pattern all the way to the end make one two three chains skip three double crochets and into this front post double crochet from the last round we will make a single crochet like that repeat this pattern all the way to the end you should always make your single crochet into this front post double crochet from the last round make chain three skip these three double crochets and then make one single crochet into the front post double crochet from the last round all the way to the end i'm at the end of this round and we have two double crochets and one starting chain three from the last round left what i will do instead of ch uh, chain three i'm going to make chain two skip these two double crochets and make a double uh, single crochet on the top of starting chain three from the last round chain three one two and three and turn your work around into that chain two space make two double crochets one and two now what we are going to do is that we will make instead of front post double crochet we are going to make a front post treble crochet but not around the a post of this single crochet but not around the post of this single crochet we will go uh, one around below this one this is the front post double crochet from the second round on the skirt part we will make front post treble crochet into that wrap the yarn around your crochet hook twice and then 
tap the yarn around your crochet hook twice insert the crochet hook from behind into this front post double crochet from the previous one round below you have four loops on your crochet hook pull through first two loops second two loops and then third two loops now we will go direct into this uh, chain three space and we will make three double crochets into that one two and three again we will work a front post treble crochet wrap the yarn around your crochet hook twice go one round below this this is the second round on the skirt part this is the front post double crochet we worked insert the crochet hook from behind grab your yarn and pull up a loop you have four loops on your crochet hook pull through first two loops second two loops and third two loops your second front post uh, treble crochet is made and now into this uh, chain three space we are going to make one uh, three double crochets one two and three wrap the yarn around your crochet hook two times and then make front post treble crochet into the double cro front post double crochet from the last round repeat this pattern all the way to the end and i will resume the video when i reach here i am at the end of this round and this is the uh, space where we made uh, this is the uh, chain two space instead of chain three we are going to make two double crochets instead of three into that one and two and then we will make one double crochet on the top of our single crochet first single crochet from the last round chain one turn around make one single crochet into the base of the same stitch chain two one and two skip next two double crochet and this is the front post treble crochet from the last round we are going to make one single crochet on top of that chain three one two three skip next three double crochets this is the top of our front post treble crochet from the last round we will make single crochet into that again one two three skip next three double crochets on the top of our front post treble crochet we will make a single crochet repeat these two rounds repeat last two rounds this one and this one as many times as you want to until you get the desired length of the cardigan you want and i would suggest to make last two rounds the chain and single crochet and these double crochet rounds these uh, these two rounds make with uh, what you call it in a contrasting color uh, just to give it uh, give it a little bit different um, uh, contrast or different uh, texture to the um, what you call it your cardigan so just repeat these two rounds until um, until your desired width or until your um, what you call it um, uh, work that is approximately your skirt is approximate uh, sorry your work is approximately 12 inches until your work the repeat last two rounds uh, as many times as you want to or until the length of your uh, cardigan is approximately uh, 11 and a half to 12 inches from the shoulder from here from the shoulder to the bottom it should be approximately 12 inches or as many times as you want to it totally depends on the size you are making for and also sometimes the baby are little sometimes baby are taller and sometimes they are 
a little bit shorter and uh, there is one thing that i forgot to mention at the uh, in my video that this is not my own pattern it's not even my own idea i saw this pattern online and it's a free pattern i will share the link to the pattern in the description box so if uh, there is anyone who is interested in following the written pattern rather in um, what you call it a video a tutorial because sometimes we get just impatient because we don't have so much patience to just wait and for each and every round to finish and then all that so i will i will post the link uh, below in the description box and um, this is the end of part one i will make rest of i will make these sleeves and collar and button band and button hole band and um, all the rest of the cardigan i will make in part two because if i will uh, make in one part i think it will be too lengthy so that's why i will end the video here and then i will resume the uh, rest i will make rest of the what you call it um, video uh, rest of the cardigan in part two so thank you so much for watching peace be upon you and happy crocheting